In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic bar chart just like this one by using Microsoft Excel. If you find this tutorial useful, please let me know by leaving a like on the video or drop me a comment below if you have any questions. Now let's get straight into Excel and get started. Within my Excel sheet, I have three groups of data. Each group's data are presented in a separate column and each cell represents a different participant's value. In total, there were 10 participants in each group. Before we can plot the data onto a simple bar chart, we need to decide what we want the graph to show. Usually bar charts show the average or mean value for each group. So let's go with that. To calculate the average value in Excel, in a new cell, enter equals average, open bracket, then click and drag on the data that you want to calculate the average from. I'll do the first group's data. Then I will close the bracket and then press the enter key on my keyboard. So the average value for group one was 31.2. Next, I'll repeat this process for groups two and three. To do this quickly, I can click on the value I've just created. And do you see the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell? Well, I can click and drag this across to copy the function to the next groups. So group two has an average value of 20.7 and group three has an average value of 25.3. Now we are ready to create the bar chart. To do this, I will highlight the three average values I've just created. Then I will go to insert and I will choose to insert a column or bar chart. There are different variations of the bar chart. You can have a 2D or a 3D version and you can pick between a standard vertical or a horizontal orientation. For this graph, I will create a classic 2D vertical bar chart. Now we have our chart created. One thing that you will note is that the X axis just has the numbers one, two, and three instead of the group's labels. To change this, right click on the graph and then go to select data. Then on the right side under the axis labels, select the edit button. Then I will click the little up arrow button and I will click and drag to highlight the cells that contain my group labels. Then I'll press enter on my keyboard. Now notice that the X axis labels have been updated to show my group names. I'll click the OK button on this window and the next window to close them. Another thing that you may wish to do when creating a bar chart is to add data labels to show the value of each bar. To add data labels, select the graph and then go to chart design, add chart element, data labels. There are a few options to pick from, but I will just select the outside end option for this example. Now you can see the average values have been added above each bar. Another feature of a bar chart that you may be interested in adding is the error bars. To learn more about this, I suggest that you check out my other tutorial, which shows you everything that you need to know about adding error bars to bar charts. Back to our example now. Something that you may want to do is to change the color of the bars on this graph. If you want to change the color of all bars on the graph, you need to click on any of the bars once. Notice by doing so, I have highlighted all of the bars. Then to change the color, go to Format and change the shape fill to a desired color. If you'd prefer to change the color of each bar separately, you need to click on the desired bar once. Then click on that same bar again. Notice how only my middle bar is now selected. Now if I change the color of the bar by doing the same as before, only that specific bar has changed color. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the width of the bars on the graph. To do this, right click on a bar and then go to Format Data Series. A new sidebar should open to the right. Here you can use the Gap Width slider to change the thickness of the bars. Moving the slider to the left will reduce the gap between the bars, thus making the bars appear thicker. And moving the slider to the right will have the opposite effect. I usually like to delete the major grid lines in the background by clicking on them and pressing delete on my keyboard. Additionally, I will make the axes more visible. For example, I will select the numbers on the Y axis to select this axis, and then I will go to Format and I will change the shape outline to black. I'll also do the same for the X axis. I also like to add tick marks onto my Y axis. To do this, right click on the Y axis and go to Format Axis. In the Farmer Axis sidebar, scroll down until you see tick marks. Use the drop down to show the major tick marks on the outside. I will also add in a Y axis title by selecting the graph and going to Chart Design, Add Chart Element, Axis Titles, Primary Vertical. 
I will call this axis measurement one, as an example. And finally, I will delete my graph title. And there we have the finished product. You now know how to create a simple bar chart by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.